Hi all. Today we are going to learn about uh, how to read the data from properties file. So in Selenium, basically whenever we want to read the data from uh, properties file, so what happened in a properties file, how to uh, create the properties file, how to read the data from properties file. So basically these things are the important things. So basically here, uh, today we are going to learn about that. The same thing is how to read the data from properties file. So how to create a properties file. First of all, we'll see that how to create a properties file. And then we'll see that how to call that data uh, from properties file to or Selenium script. So just here, first of all, I have uh, start my uh, Eclipse ID. So using Eclipse ID, then I will start, first of all, I will uh, create the properties file and then I will uh, uh, call that properties file in our Selenium script and see how we are going to be read that uh, data into the properties. So basically, I hope everybody can see my screen. So in source package, I'm going to default package. I'm going to create a new class. The name is read property. So just I have to use that read property class. I call the main method. Just hold. just this one is the empty class I have created. So this is the empty class. Again, I am going to create a new properties file here at the project level. So just I'm going to create a properties file. So and click on to that project level, right click, go to the new and click on file option. So click on file and here I want to create one properties file like a name of the properties file like just I uh, have given data dot properties. So just here the file name is a data, file name is a data and the extension is dot properties properties the extension is dot property so just i will click on finish button and here we can see that data dot properties file is ready there is a this is the empty file there is nothing inside that file so now just we are going to be add some data here just we are going to add some data here so already we have created one class and this is the nothing there just we have been called the main method here and in data dot properties file just we are going to be called some method like uh, data like here URL. So if I want to call the Facebook URL, so just I have been use HTTPS colon double slash www.facebook.com. Again, if you want to uh, provide us here username or uh, password here, so just here we can use username is equal to uh, I want to give any username like Again, if I want to call the password here, yes, so just I will, I will provide the password. So just these are the, here we are going to store uh, the data in properties file as a part of key and value here. So this is the key, URL, username and password, these are the key. And we are storing uh, URL, so URL where this is the value for that key. So just we are, once we call the key in our script, so it will, uh, in the back end, they are going to call that value. Uh, it will call that value. So just we save that file, data.property. Now we, we see that already we have created one class. So just when, whenever we want to call any file, whenever we want to call <clears throat> any file, in our uh, Selenium or in our Java program. So we call the class called file input string. So this is the most important. So just we, we are calling the class file input string. So just I have been uh, declared one uh, object for that class file SRC and here new. Again, I'm going to call file input string. And here just I have been mentioned whatever the file properties file we have been uh, declared here just right click on to that data dot properties file go to the click on to the properties and here we see the location just we call that location we call that copy that location and just paste that address here in file input string just paste that address in a 
file input stream. So semicolon. So just here we see that we'll get an uh, uh, red line below that file input stream. So we can see that there is the uh, two fixes available. Like we have to handle this situation using uh, try catch block uh, or either just we are we are going to use the throw declaration. So just I'm going to use the throw declaration. And here we can see that file not found exception. If on that particular path, the file uh, is not available, then that time our main method throw which exception? File not found exception. If file not found over that path. So just here we are using handle that uh, situation using throws and throws and file not found exception. So this is just here we are declaring the file input stream here. Now we are going to call the properties class. So just I'm going to call the class properties. Properties, I'm declaring one object here, prop. Properties prop is equal to new. Again, I'm going to use the properties. Just we are declaring one object here and just prop dot I'm going to use the method load here and loading that file with which we have, whichever we have been stored in a file input stream file src. The object is file src. Inside that file src, we store that our data dot properties. Just we are going to load that file src here using the prop dot load method here. So just here again, here we'll again get uh, handle the situation using uh, throws. So just and click on the throw and here we can see that IO exception handle this situation. So now we are able to, here we are calling the properties file, means we are calling that properties file in our Selenium script. Now we want to use that file. I want to use the URL. So basically here we, we required, uh, I want to launch first of all any browser and then I'm going to call that URL. So just here I'm going to, if we are using system dot set property, then using here e is the web driver dot home dot driver. So this time to launch the Chrome driver. So I'm using that key web driver dot home dot driver. And here we, you can see that in the binary folder we are we are having already we are we are having here the uh, browser drivers. Just time copy that. Home driver exe here. Just the system dot set property is set. Again, I'm calling the web driver interface here. Web driver here. I'm taking the reference variable driver. And I want to launch the Chrome driver. So just I'm calling the class Chrome driver. And just I want to use these methods like driver dot. I'm going to use here driver dot get. And I want to pass the URL, but I have been already defined that URL. Already we know that in data dot properties we have been defined that URL. So just we are calling that URL here. So just using that method prop dot get property, and just we are given the key here is a URL. Just here you can see that data dot properties URL. We are declaring the key as a URL. So and the Inside that key, we are having that URL like https www.facebook. And again, so just here we can see that there are one two more properties username and password. Also, we have been declared. So, first, send and see how it works. We'll get uh, open that uh, URL uh, in Chrome browser. Just here, our script has started executing. And here we can see that we have been launched, which page, Facebook page is there. And already we are on email address page. So just that we are inspecting that email address. And here we can see that ID is the email. Just I'm going to use the. Can I am trying to find the element here, driver dot, find element. Back ID. This time I'm going to use the method ID. Inside that ID, ID is the email. Here, using send keys, pop dot 
it property time pass their user this i have to provide the username again for password i am using driver dot find element by id and id is for password field just here we can see that ID is the key that we use. Just we are using this one. Same keys. And again, we are going to use pop dot get property. And here we are declaring the property password. Just we are using password. So just here, whatever the things we have been declared as a part, URL, username, password as a properties file and just we are calling this properties file in our class uh, read property and read the properties the properties in a workbook just here you can see that we we are reading the data like https facebook platform here we can see that with kasha academy at the red gmail it's a real id here just we have been whatever the we have been provided that password is uh, we call that password within a password. So that's it for today. So hope you will enjoy videos how to read the data from properties. Right? So thank you.